Doctor Who, second series, The Dalek Invasion of Earth. Menacing machines chase the Doctor, William Hartnell, over Westminster Bridge and past the Houses of Parliament. And London's newest landmarks are featured in the latest Doctor's adventures through time in the TARDIS. Adventures which have always had a fanatical following. People like Alexandra, who over 30 yes. years has built up a museum of Doctor Who costumes and props. Oh, when this came up for auction, I just had to have it. Which is behind her shop that she opened in 1984. Kevin was her first customer. They've been together ever since. And the shop has made East Ham an unlikely tourist destination. <laughs> we are not just a shop that sells Doctor Who. We are people who really encompass the passion of Doctor Who, so we get the fan. We've had people as far out as Siberia. We had Bolivia last week, um, Solomon Islands we've had. We've had a couple of people from Iceland. That Literally, every corner of the globe we've had people coming to see us. Well, no Cybermen in St Paul's today, but another couple united in their love for the Time Lord has come all the way from Illinois, America, to celebrate their 15th wedding anniversary. At Bloomsbury Ballroom in Holborn, they'll renew their vows at a mass Doctor Who ceremony on Sunday. My son's going to dress up as the 11th Doctor. My husband is still trying to piece his costume together on the fly. How's that going? Um, it's it's kind of hard to find shirts my size, but we're working on it. <laughs> and your dress? It has TARDIS blue and it's huge. <laughs> oh dear Lord. London's streets and skies still appear in newer episodes. Plenty of fodder then for Errol Clayton, one of the guides who leads the regular Doctor Who walking tour. Um, yeah, it's very clever, isn't it? <laughs> Which attracts yet more devout fans to see the backdrops they've watched over 50 years on TV. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.